نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم اما بعد in order for one to be successful in his pursuits of this world or the hereafter one needs to spend time wisely because it is during this time that we will be able to endeavor to fulfill our objective and if time passes by and we don't use our time wisely we will not be able to fulfill our objective we will not be able to complete our task so in order for one to be successful in any pursuit of this world or the here after one needs to use time when we say to somebody that do this and if he does not have, have time he will say i can't do it because i haven't got time without time you cannot do anything in order to perform salat you need time in order to make sajda you need time in order to make zikr you need time in order to visit your parents you need time so much so that in order to disobey allah you need time in order to do anything you need time in order to relieve yourself you need time in order to sleep you need time without time you cannot do anything Now those people who do not use time wisely they will be doing so many things which are unprofitable and those people who use time wisely they will only do those things which is which are profitable so the first and foremost thing that a person needs to learn is to use his time wisely whether we look at it from the worldly perspective or the ukhrawi perspective perspective of the hereafter now the salikin those who are treading the path of suluk those who are striving to come closer to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they will also need to do certain things for example they will need to complete their adhkar they will need to complete their maamulat on a daily basis and in order to complete their maamulat they will need time they will need to complete their tilawat for tilawat you need time they will need to come to the masjid and perform time perform salat with jamaat they will need time if you perform salat at home it will take 15 minutes if you perform salat in the masjid it will take 30 minutes you will have to come to the masjid you will have to go home so those people who are treading the path of suluk those people who are, who are striving to bring the recognition of allah subhanahu wa taala in their hearts those people who are striving to bring the love of allah subhanahu wa taala in their hearts they too need to understand the value of time and to use the time wisely because if they will not use the time wisely they will use time in so many other useless activities and at the end of the day they will find that they were unable to complete their tilawat they were unable to do their zikr because there was no time so we need to prioritize our activities and thereafter make a time table and allocate time for all our important tasks worldly tasks and the ukhrawi tasks and thereafter we need to make sure that we are not distracted 
and we carry out the task or every task at their appointed times. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all of us the tawfiq to do this. So I urge all of you who are sitting here, I urge all those brothers and sisters who are listening to me at home to sit down today or tomorrow sometimes and prepare a timetable. And people have uh, different activities during the weekdays and during the weekends, during working days, during holidays, during school days, college days, university days and holidays. So each person should have different timetables. One timetable for working days, school days, and another timetable for holidays, Saturday, Sunday. And make a realistic timetable. Keep room for everything. Rest, food, spending time with parents, with family, shopping, whatever we need to do. And allocate time for our ukhra we need, for example, our salat, our tilawat, our azkar, our adiyya, our connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And after making this timetable, try to follow this timetable, and if there is a need to make some adjustments, make adjustments. But don't make adjustments every day. Make adjustments. And let the ground settle within three or four weeks. And once we have a set routine, set timetable, then follow that strictly. Now we live in a country where the winter days and nights are very different from the summer days and nights. So just as I have explained earlier that there should be a separate timetable for working days and a separate timetable for holidays. Similarly, we will need three timetables. One timetable for winter, full winter. November, December, January, February. We will need another timetable for full summer. End of May, June, July, August, September. And we will need another timetable for March and April. And end of September, October. Because the end of September, October will be very similar to March and April. So make three timetables and keep all those three timetables. And as soon as full winter goes and March sets in, put this timetable away and start using that timetable. Once March and April goes, start using the full summer timetable. Because a lot of people make timetable. You will all make, make a timetable today after listening to this talk. And you will follow this timetable. But after three, four months, time will begin to change. And that is where you will get confused. And you will not be able to carry out your, your activities. So for the whole year, we need to make two timetables. One timetable for working days, two timetables for holidays. And we need to make three timetables for three different seasons. If you will do this, inshallah, you will find that you have become successful in using your time wisely. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all the tawfiq. Wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa sallallahu ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi.